Now, in the next thing here, <coughs> I'm going to create um, another little, let's see, we want the uh, undefined method here. If I were to take out the trace world and call that something different, you'll see there's the 10, 11, 80, a, a possible undefined method track. So it doesn't understand this. It doesn't understand what track is. But since I followed it with the, the parentheses here, or the, um, yeah, the parentheses, open and close parentheses, it thinks that it's a function. So that's why I'm getting both of those errors. And you'll see it's still getting that undefined property, because I never fixed that one. So I can take that back to what it should be. Trace hello. Let's see what else. Oh, add event listener. Let's say that I change that to something else. <clears throat> All right, here's our 1061, um, which looks like I didn't put it in the list here. <clears throat> and um, 1061 is an undefined method event listener, so I've I have misspelled this right here. Now let's see what happens if we have mouse event colon click all right another 1084 error expecting right parenthesis before colon so it didn't understand that what about if i have it having an error afterwards here's the 1119 undefined property click clic so that will help us find out that that is not understood. I might even change it to something it does understand and see if it works. And you'll see it still doesn't work because this is a possibly undefined property click through a static type of button. <coughs> so even though this is a keyword, it's not the keyword that's appropriate to put as a mouse event. That's actually when you would set a property of button.click equals true or something like that. So that has to be fixed back to all uppercase. And of course, the one other one that we can generate, whoops, another one we can generate um, a 1120 with is if we have our function named wrong at the second time. So we're getting that same 1120. <coughs> now, that is just some of the um, compiler error codes that you can generate. You can actually generate more than we've just generated in this tutorial. And of course my list is not completely comprehensive because there are just so many different ones that you can run into. And I didn't try every single um, every single scenario when I was creating this um, tutorial. But I would like you to write down the description of what the um, syntax error was and how you got that error as much as possible. Now another thing that you can do is if you get an error, by the way, if you get an error you can right click and copy that description. That way when you go to paste it in your document you'll actually have the full description of what that error was that you can use. So please go ahead and create a document that has descriptions of your error codes and submit that for extra credit. And uh, I hope that you find this tutorial helpful just to kind of get used to the compiler errors. Now one last thing I do want to point out is if your code does not have the right syntax, then you should not be able to um, auto format and it'll actually show that that doesn't have auto formatting correctly. So if you fixed it so that it has the right um, <coughs> let's say syntax then when you whoops I didn't mean to hit that I meant to take that out if it shows that you have the right syntax then you can click on the auto format and it will create your code to look or it will reformat your code to make it look the action script 3 way which is a little different than the object oriented version way but um, this is the way that I would like your code to be formatted because that shows that you've made sure that your code was valid and then clicked on auto format to make it sure it's nice and organized and that's the end of the tutorial thank you very much <coughs>